From the land down under, with the rock at its centre, comes the little Aussie watchman. On t today, Australia is being conditioned for digital currency. For the first time I am aware of, there are articles in the mainstream Australian press advocating for a digital currency. They are claiming that a digital currency will save money because the state will not have to print money anymore. However, a digital currency not only confirms warnings given by Christian pastors in the past, but it also heralds a time when big government and big banks can have almost unlimited power over your finances. Governments are keen to ensure that they extract every bit of tax revenue afforded to them through the law. Digital currency is the answer. They will have the ability to track every monetary transaction and tax it. Both governments and banks want to avoid bank runs during financial economic collapse. The ultimate capital control will be the formation of digital currency and the abolition of cash. Money will not be able to leave the country untracked. The loss of privacy and control over your money will mean that at some stage, government and or private organisations may be allowed to access your financial records to see what you have been spending your money on in order for you to get a job in their company. Welcome to your dystopian future. The particular article in the age was written by the assistant to the treasurer. You obviously got the idea from overseas, as a couple of European countries have gone down this path already. And the American published Bloomberg magazine started talking about the possibility late last year. The abolition of cash will be another step in the abolition of freedom. Some believe that given the poor financial health of Western economies, they will gradually increase NERP policies. NERP stands for Negative Interest Rate Policy. Imagine if your local bank decided to go NERP. Wouldn't be long before everyone removed their cash from that bank. Digital currency would be quite useful to the banks and governments at this point because it would be easier to ensure all your money stayed in the bank. And secondly, it would be easy to stop cash disappearing from the financial system. It would be obvious to the populace at this stage that other forms of wealth would be easy to use to purchase things such as food, silver, gold. The unsaid elephant in the room is obviously the rapidly approaching fulfilment of a prophecy and revelation that the end time beast will be able to institute a currency associated with a mark on the arm or the forehead. When taken literally, this strongly suggests cash would no longer be allowed to be used. However, there are other interpretations. This is a warning that the church no longer trumpets, and many young Western Christians do not even know of the warning. It is of extreme irony that as the prophecy is being fulfilled, the church has fallen silent on end-time warnings.